What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we got some brand new WWE figure news for you guys, including a brand new Epic Moments Elite figure set. And with that being said guys, let's just get straight into this hoe. So as you guys can see on the screen, it is an Ultimate Deletion Epic Moments WWE Elite Figure Pack. This was posted by They Are Action Figures on Instagram. The little info here says WWE Epic Moments The Ultimate Deletion Pack Celebrating Epic Moments WWE History. This Ultimate Deletion Pack features Woken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt with tattooed arms, vest, and pants representing the Epic Ultimate Deletion Moment where Woken Matt Hardy defeats Bray Wyatt at the Hardy Compound. These elite action figures are approximately six inches tall and include true effects, enhanced facial detailing for lifelike authenticity, and each have an extra pair of swappable hands for multiple ways to pose and play. Accessory pieces to recreate the epic ultimate deletion moment include Bray Wyatt's Lantern, Vanguard 1, Drone with Woken Matt Hardy, Hologram, Mower of Lawns, Lawnmower, Scars Guard, The Dilapidated Boat, and more. The WWE Universe can recreate this epic moment and relive the over-the-top drama and excitement. Also features collector-inspired packaging. Colors and decorations may vary for ages 8 and up. My God, ladies and gentlemen, this is freaking sweet nasty. I remember we saw this at San Diego Comic-Con, and uh, we just saw the proto images, but this looks incredible. I love the detailing we're getting with this. It does look like there are basics inside the packaging here, but you heard the little info. Apparently, they are going to be elites. I guess this is sort of just like a proto-type deal where they just sort of took some Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy action figures and stuck them in there. Hopefully, we get some new uh, head scans for these guys, some cool um, stuff going on. You know, I know Matt Hardy is going to just be like a Dean Ambrose body. I think he wore a black white beater tank top, and then he wore or just blue jeans, and then Bray Wyatt, I guess he was in his red attire, I can't really remember what Bray Wyatt was wearing, but I love the accessories we're getting, man, mower of freaking lawns, dilapidated boat, freaking Vanguard 1, I love this, I think this is awesome, I'm gonna be doing some epic stuff with this, I cannot wait for uh, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt to get here, and hopefully both of these guys return to TV, either tonight on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live, I think that, you know, Matt Hardy was cleared, he says he's in the best shape of his life, very exciting time for Matt Hardy, Bray Wyatt, you know, he's been off TV for almost a year, I do believe now, so I can't wait for both of these guys to return, and what an epic, great set here for the Epic Moments WWE Elite figure line, gonna be epic, can't wait to get the more of lawns and everything, gonna be doing some really sweet stuff, but that is all we have for that Epic Moments WWE WWE figure playset, and then we have some battle packs, guys, right here. The first battle pack that we do have is DX. This is battle packs 58, I do believe. We have DX with Shawn Michaels and Triple H. This is a throwback. We have two old head scans. They're great head scans at that, but they are old. They did not give us updated head scans, and this is not the true effects version of both of these. These are just literal re-releases with new attires, but they're flashback figures. I do like the elbow pads on Triple H. They have DX logos on them. That'd be a really cool fix-up to do with maybe the Walgreens exclusive. That would be a really sweet fix-up to do. The next battle pack that we have, guys, is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I'm really not a big fan of this. I hate the yep, yep, yep painted on t-shirt. An attire from Kevin Owens that we have seen multiple times. I like the attire we got for Sami Zayn here, but I hate the painted on shirt again. They also gave us the Elite 51 head scan, and I don't know, man. This is just a really weak battle pack. I like the Triple H one and the DX one. I think that is really nice because those head scans are really usable. You can use the elbow pads. These are just, I mean, these are worthless. I don't know why anybody would really want these, but I am putting them up to you guys to, you know, show them off. And I figured since I was showing you Vanguard 1 and the Ultimate Deletion pack, why not go ahead and throw in these battle packs? And the last one we have, guys, is Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. Chad Gable has been with six people since this battle pack. No, but seriously, you know, he's with Bobby Roode now. He doesn't wear this gear anymore. I mean, it's another wasted battle pack. Shelton Benjamin has even updated his gear now. So, I mean, it's literally, this is just old stuff. Like, I don't understand why anybody would really want this. It's not updated head scans for neither guy. They're both the same head scans we've gotten on their on their elite figures in the past and we've seen this chad get this chad gable head scan is like two and a half years old so i really don't know where they're going with this one but that pretty much does it for these base or for these battle packs and then of course we do have this basic randy orton which i kind of have mixed feelings about i really do like the attire i like that um the head scan is solid i'm not you know huge into it. i think this is basic 94 i could be wrong i i, I lose count of the basic series guys but I really do like the uh, the head scan here. I, I'm really just waiting to see it in person. May have to touch it up a little bit or, you know, dremel some off or whatever. But uh, that pretty much does it for all the new figure images and news I have for you guys. Again, I really just wanted to show you guys that Ultimate Deletion Epic Moments pack. I think that is absolutely brilliant, and I cannot wait to get that. I think it's going to be really amazing. Um, cannot wait to see the attire.
hire they give Bray Wyatt, and can't wait to see if we get any new head scans and stuff. Can't wait to get that mower of lawns, man. Going to be lawn mowering all day. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Comment down below what you think. I'm getting started on some Royal Rumble customs today, so you guys can look forward to that if I can finish them up. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.